Welcome to West Coast Business Solutions, your source for bookkeeping tips, tricks, and tutorials. Hopefully you will find our resources helpful and informative, and stop by often to find answers to your bookkeeping questions. This is a demonstration of how to record an NSF check from a customer. This is one of the most commonly asked questions that I receive from new bookkeepers. I'm going to show you how to record the NSF, what it does to your general ledger accounts, and what it does to your customers' reports in accounts receivable. I'm not going to overwhelm you with NSF fees or bad debt entries. We are simply recording an NSF so you can continue with your daily entries and feel confident that the amount is set up as owing from your customer and that the amount has been withdrawn from your bank. The concept is pretty simple and can be applied to any system, platform, or version that you are using. The system that I will be using for demonstration purposes is Sage 50. In order to record an NSF for a customer, what we want to do is enter a sale. So we're going into the sales entry and we're going to set up a sale for ABC Company. The invoice number that we're going to enter is going to be NSF check number 4321. The date of the entry is going to be May 5th, which is the date that we received the notification from our bank. Then we're going to go down to the description field. You can enter a detailed description here if you are wanting to email or print the invoice for your customer. Then we're going to go over to the amount field and the amount of the NSF was $400. We also have the tax field, which we want to leave blank. We don't want any taxes involved in this entry and the account we're picking is your bank account. Now we're going to go ahead and look at this entry and what this is doing is debiting your accounts receivable which is increasing it and crediting your bank which is decreasing it. And we'll close that out and we'll post this entry. When we post this it's asking if we want to print we're going to say no for the demonstration purposes. Now, what you would do is receive a payment just like you would for any other invoice. So again, we're going to enter ABC Company and the check number is their replacement check number replacing the NSF and that check number is 4322 and we received that on May 15th. The entry that this is going to create is a debit to your checking, increasing it, and a credit to accounts receivable, decreasing it. We'll close that out and post the entry. Then we're going to have a look at the accounts receivable report to see what these entries have done to that customer's account. We'll go ahead and display that and you'll see that the first entry is the NSF that we recorded increasing their balance and the payment replacement check that we received to replace the NSF. The final outstanding balance is nil. And that's it for recording NSF checks. Thank you for visiting West Coast Business Solutions, your source for bookkeeping tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have any bookkeeping questions that you would like answers for, feel free to leave a question in the comments section and we would be happy to help you out. If you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe. Have a great day.